Hi, and welcome back to The Productive Entrepreneur, helping you get organized, get productive, and make more profit. In the last lecture, we spoke about how important it is to start your day in the right way. But don't forget that for every beginning, there must be an end. And how you end your workday is just as important as how you started it. This lecture is entitled, How You End Your Day. For many of us, we work the nine to five routine. And by the time four o'clock comes around, we are counting the seconds and then the minutes until we can leave the office. Now that's not a great way to end your work day. Leaving the office or your home desk in this manner brings your stresses and your anxieties with you, which can then start to leak into other areas of your personal life. So nobody wants to be walking away from their, from their desk or their home office or wherever they work, stressed and anxious about tomorrow. What you want to be doing is closing off your day in the best way possible. And that might be making a couple of phone calls, sending a couple of emails. But whatever it is, we're gonna discuss that now. And what I'm gonna share with you are some of my tips to help you end your day in the right way. So as you can see, seeing as how we're talking about the end of the day and the evening time, I've got some nice starry nighttime slides for you uh, in this lecture. And there's a good phrase now to, um, to help us, I suppose, frame this lecture. Think of your morning and your evening as the bookends of your day. And that's really true. How you start and how you end your day are what make the in-between possible. So getting a good start to your day helps you move forward with positive mom momentum. And then how you end your day helps your evening and your personal life be that little bit more relaxed, but it also sets you up in the right way for the next day. And there's a spaceship. <laughs> so my first tip on ending your day in the right way is to evaluate and review the schedule that you've just completed. So what you have done in the day just gone. As we already discussed, to-do lists are just that. They are just lists. Your schedule is what actually gets done. So before you leave your, de your desk each evening, review what you did get done and take some happiness and some joy from that. For the things you didn't get done, don't be too hard on yourself and don't worry. Schedule them for tomorrow or for another day during the week, if appropriate. Next, try and get some closure. After reviewing what you did for the day, there may be things that you didn't get done and that you feel bad about going home. Perhaps you forgot to follow up with a client even though you said you would. Don't worry, these things happen, everybody gets sidetracked. If there are things you feel guilty about, then send a quick email to apologise and say you will be in touch first thing in the morning. Then place it in your schedule as the first thing that you will do. I have found from my experience that even bad communication is better than no communication at all. So always remember to get in contact with whoever it is. When you are leaving for the day, you should try and leave on a positive note to help carry that sentiment through the rest of the evening. So sometimes I save a bit of positive news for the end of the day. This can be either work or personal related. Friday might be coming around and you want to bring your team out for lunch. Or if you work on your own, perhaps you've got a new client and you want to take your partner out to celebrate. Whatever it is, try and keep a little bit of news, good news for the end of the day, which will help you leave on a positive note. It doesn't even have to be taking your team or your partner out. It can be something simple like you're going home to watch a film, you're going home to see family and friends. Whatever is positive news to you, keep it for the end of the day. Another great tip for the end of the day is to reflect. How did your day go? Was there anything that you could have done better? Did something go really well for you that made you happy and gave you a boost throughout the day? Try and end each working day with a quick review. It helps to clear your mind and review stress. So for, for example, I'm doing this lecture towards the end of my day and I had a good meeting with my accountant this morning and I'm gonna carry that positivity through to, through to tomorrow because I didn't think actually the meeting would go as well as it did. The unknown is always scarier. So now that the meeting's done, I'm happy, I'm positive. I feel like getting more done this evening and I feel like I can actually relax this evening. So now I'm gonna carry that positivity through to tomorrow. Next, before you leave your desk, you should always tidy up. I love being at my desk early, but what I can't stand is being at my desk first thing in the morning and then waste, wasting precious time f filing away documents from yesterday or the day before or bringing my empty coffee cups to the kitchen. It's just not an effective use of my time. So before you leave your desk each evening, tidy it up. Decluttering has been proven to help clear your mind and reduce stress. 
It's a great feeling to sit down at a clean desk first thing in the morning, ready to start the day. Now, I know a lot of people will uh, agree with this, this one, and that is the work off-peak. So when I say off-peak, what do I mean? Well, for most people, 5 p.m., 5.30 is home time. As soon as the clock strikes five, they get up from their desks and they walk out the door. That is not always possible for the entrepreneur. But this is a great time for you to catch up on some of the things that you wanted to do, but just didn't get around to. Clearing your schedule of some quick emails really helps to get you started first thing in the morning. Think about it. Would you be rather coming into work tomorrow and the first thing you have to do is order a new print owner? Get these type of non-critical things done before you leave and save your morning time for what really matters. A lot of people will work off peak as well because it's when the phone stops, it's when email stops and they feel like it's get when they can get their most important work done because they have a bit of breathing space, a bit of quiet time and a bit of time to focus. I would say that by following this course, you, f you get that time back during the day. Your evening times should be when you start to wind down. Now, I'm not saying that sometimes you won't have to pull an all-nighter to get a project done or to meet a deadline, but they should be rare. Your evening time is when you start to wind down, go home, spend time with friends and family, or have time for your own hobbies. Another great way to end your day is to say goodbye to your colleagues. There was a time when I was so stressed at work that as soon as 5.30 came, I would jump up my desk and run out the door, not saying goodbye to anybody. And that was just an anxious feeling. I would run out the door saying, did anybody notice I left? Did anybody notice I didn't say goodbye? And then I was bringing that anxiousness home with me. And this is completely the wrong way to end your day. You should be happy walking out of the office, but happy because of the work that you've got done, happy because you've sent out a few emails, happy because you've cleared up your desk. Saying goodbye before you leave is a great confidence booster and set you up nicely with your colleagues for the next day. Using these tips will help you get home with less stress and, and anxiety and ready to kick off your next day with motivation and positivity. But these are not a silver bullet, so it happens to us all. And nobody wants to be sitting around a dinner table worrying about the email they never sent or the angry email they were going to get first thing in the morning because they never made that phone call. And the ending your day with the suggestions above will help you leave your stresses at the door and clear your head so that you can be present with friends and family when you do get home. Work the above in your evening routine and after a couple of days you will feel less stressed, more positive and you will be getting more done. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.